Hey guys, welcome to Daisy's Garage. So in today's episode, what I thought I would do is I'd show you a little hack. So obviously I polished my car in a bit of a hurry the other day, which I shouldn't have done, and I didn't mask off any of the black trims. And what is left is a load of polish marks all over it that are really, really tricky to get out. So I thought I'd try a couple of methods. The first one, we'll use all-purpose cleaner, see how well that does straight out of the bottle, no, no mixing ratios at all. And then we'll move on to a little hack that I know that is really, really good at removing polish from this type of plastic. So, right, let's go. We'll get the all-purpose cleaner first and uh, then we'll move on to the little hack. Right, so with some all-purpose cleaner on the cloth, let's go at this section here and we'll see how well it does at removing it. Take a clean part of your cloth and obviously just wipe off all the excess. So we'll let that dry for a minute and we'll assess it. So let's move on to a little hack that I know. Right, so the little hack that we're going to use is we're just going to use a rubber. <laughs> or sorry, in 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 the in in Scotland it's a rubber, in the US it's an eraser because I know what rubbers are in the States. So an eraser for the US, rubber for, this, for Scotland and the UK. So anyway, basically what you're going to do, take the rubber and just go at the scratch, hey, go at the wax coat. Now, it does take a little bit longer to do than using the all-purpose cleaner um, because obviously it's not covering anywhere near as big an area but the results are really, really good. There you have it. Removed it, no bother at all. So what we'll do now while we're waiting on the all-purpose cleaner is we'll move over to another part and do the same thing again. Now yeah, look how good that is, isn't that amazing? Right, so <clears throat> let's take a look at the bit that we did with the all-purpose cleaner. Now, it has made it better than it was, okay? But it's still not great. I mean, look, it's missed. The, the problem is, is, because it's wet, you can't see where you've been and where you haven't. So like this area here still needs some work. <clears throat> I mean, it does, like I say, it does look better than it did, but all along the edges there are just dreadful. Whereas if you look at the bits I did with the rubber, look at how much better that is. It's just infinitely better, much cleaner surface. Now the only problem with it is, and this is a bit of a problem, it leaves a heck of a mess, as you can see, which is not great. <coughs> um, but obviously you would do this, you would use the rubber before you went and actually waxed the car. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's quite a bit still left to do. Like I say, this bit here, for example, is going to need work done. All along here is going to need work done. And then obviously I'm going to need to blow it out at the end. So what I'll do is I'll go over the entire thing and uh, I'll show you the end result. Right, so now we're back having used the eraser slash rubber on the entire trim. 
And look at how good that looks now. Like I say, there's still a, a couple of bits that are just two in the corners for me to get at. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trim restorer. I'm probably going to do another video on that actually, seeing as I'm here anyway. And uh, I will catch you all in the next one, guys. Hope you liked that little that little hack, that little uh, trickaroo. Um, certainly saved me quite a lot of time, but uh, it does make a bit of a mess of everything. But that's okay, because you can clean that up. So anyway, guys, until the next video, see you there.